Welcome to iLecture Online. For those who rather work this problem out using the equation of kinematics, that includes my wonderful wife, let's go ahead and do it that way as well. In the previous video, we solved this very same problem using the method, the graphical method, which I particularly like. All right, how would we do this? Well, we'll do the easy part first. We'll use the factorial solution first. Again, let's remind ourselves what the problem is. We're shooting a, a projectile straight upward at the initial velocity of 40 meters per second. It reaches the maximum height. It starts coming back down. When it gets to this point right here, after six seconds, we want to calculate the average velocity. Now, we can either calculate the average velocity, which is the displacement divided by time, or we can calculate the average speed, which is the distance divided by time. Remember that the displacement is this distance right here, from here to there in an upward direction and the, the total distance is from here all the way to the top and back down to those two added together. All right, let's go ahead and use the equation kinematics to solve for the average velocity. So the displacement y is going to be equal to y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. So that will give us the final position relative to the ground and then if we take that and put a vector on that, we can then go ahead and write it like that, meaning it will have a positive value pointing straight up from the ground. So this will be equal to 0 plus 40 times, well, it takes a total time of 6 seconds, plus 1 half, well, that's g, which will go minus 4.9 t squared, and t is, again, 6 seconds squared, and the whole thing in the y direction. So that will be the vector quantity that we're looking for. So it gives us a 240 minus 4.9 times 36 gives us 63.6 meters. So this is equal to 63.6 meters in the positive y direction, which is the displacement of that object. And then to find the average velocity in a vector quantity, that will be equal to the displacement divided by the time. So in this case, this is 63.6 meters in the y direction divided by 6 seconds. So this becomes 10.6 .6 meters per second in the y direction. So that's the average velocity in vector format. But now we need to find it, the average speed, and we're disregarding direction, which means we need to find the total distance traveled. So we already know where we end up at 63.6 meters, but we have to find the maximum height. So to find, find the maximum height, what we can do is we can use this equation, v equals v sub naught plus g times t, because this equation will give us the time that it takes to get to the the maximum height and then we can use that time to find the actual maximum height. So in this case we know that the velocity at the top will be zero so it's zero equals the initial velocity minus 9.8 t and uh, so that means that t is equal to minus 40 divided by minus 9.8 which is 4.0816 4.0816 4.0816 seconds. So now we can use this time that it takes to get to the maximum height to find the actual maximum height. So y max is equal to y initial plus v initial in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. So we know that we start from the ground, so that's zero plus v initial in the y direction, which is 40 times the time to get to the maximum height, 4.0816, minus 4.9 times 4.0816 squared. So that will give us the maximum height attained. So we'll take that number squared times 4.9 equals, and we add that to that value right there. So plus 4.9. 0.816 times 40 equals, and we get a maximum height of 81.63 meters. 
So the maximum height is this. The height attained after six seconds is this. So then we can calculate this distance. We can call it A2. So the distance A2 is equal to Y max minus Y final. So in this case, that would be 81.63 meters minus Y final, which is 63.6 .6 meters. And that will give us 81.63 minus 63.6. .6. That gives us 18 0.03 meters. So that's the distance from maximum height to its final position. So now we can calculate the total distance. So total distance traveled will be equal to y max plus a2. Let's just call it a2. So this is equal to 81.63 meters plus another 18.03 meters. So for a total of 99.66 meters, that's the total distance traveled, and now the average speed in a scalar quantity is total distance divided by the total time, so in this case 99.66 meters divided by 6 seconds. So now we have 99.66 divided by 6, which gives us 6 16.61 meters per second, and that's the average speed, not vector quantity. All right, so now you have it. This is how you would do it using the equation kinematics. The previous video shows you how to do it graphically, so you decide which method you like best. <laughs> My wife likes this one the best. Straightforward. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have the visual of the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, she's a mathematician, so we have to put value in her, in her opinion. <laughs>